Betsy Garcia. I'm here at um, Baker's Bodega Express in the city of Baldwin Park uh, with some quick announcements, like always. Uh, first of all, we would like to welcome all of Pico Rivera's um, clients or what have you. We understand that there's a little inconvenience that they are closed, but don't worry, we got you here. <laughs> we are more than welcome to um, have you come in. Um, second, I wanted to introduce to you guys, for those that do not yet already know Miss Kathy, um, she is going to be giving classes here starting in January. Well, she already did it last week. She, you had a class, right? Um, and then in January, she's going to be hosting classes every Thursday and give or take some Saturdays. Um, so if you have something in mind that you would like her to teach, let us know. We'll send her the message and then, you know, she might fill it into her calendar. Anything to say? I used to teach at the Pico Rivera location. A cake decorator for <laughs> about 11 years now so um, I look <laughs> I look forward to teaching classes here with the old crew so I hope to see you oh yeah the old crews all here all yeah. of them oh so cool yeah. except for me I'm not an old person <laughs> <laughs> um, and then so thank you thank you Kathy um, third what else we are going to do the flavor of the month. This month is um, the cream cheese icing. Uh, I'm going to try to incorporate it into my recipe today, so hopefully we can make, make it work. Um, I haven't tried it, but we'll try it. And lastly, I have next week's demo is going to be the candy cane strudel, which is going to be, we're going to do it here, and then we'll probably raffle it out. I know it's going to be after Christmas or what have you, but it's okay. We still like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, lastly, our student, um, our, one of our very loyal demo attendees, she did the choco flans that I demoed a couple months ago. So she did two this past weekend and they came out really nice. So I believe she did a choco flan with chocolate and then one with vanilla. But it looked so good, doesn't it? So I'm so happy. Thank you, Terry. Um, she tagged me in the pictures, and that's how I was able to um, send the message out. Alrighty, so today, so if you guys do something that I've done in the demo, send it to me, and then we will fix it somehow, somewhere. Alrighty, so today I'm going to do um, the Reef Christmas cake. It's nothing out of the ordinary. We're just going to do use a recipe of the cake mix that we have here. Um, today I'm going to be using the white and gold velvet recipe. Now this is like a fluffy cake, okay? It's um, light, very lightweight. It's not dense, not heavy. Bien liviano este, es bien esponjoso. Um, ideal for cakes like this, birthday cake type, okay? So I'm just going to pat it down. All right, let me, I think I moved it. All righty. So the recipe on the back is three ingredients, just like a box cake, water, eggs, and um, oil, okay? Now for this one, it's 6.4 ounces of oil, which is this little guy right here. Um, I'm sorry, of water, 6.4 ounces of water, 1.5 of oil, and 3.2 ounces of eggs which is roughly about two eggs, right? So here's two eggs. Now, if you watch my demos, you know that I like to always add liquid on the bottom just so that my flour, or my batter doesn't like stick. And I always mix or, um, my cakes with the paddle attachment, all right? Um, so when you read a recipe, it says whip that is the whisk. You're going to whip it, right? And then when it just says mix, you're using a paddle, okay? Um, the difference is the whisk will incorporate air, which you want something spoof, like poofy, like meringues, you know, so on. Mix, you're just mixing. You don't want to incorporate too much air. Then you get a lot of those tunnels in the cakes. Alrighty? So I added a little bit of water. Then I'm going to add some of the flour. And then I'm going to start mixing. 
Um, the eggs, I always put them, well, I don't always, but I try <laughs> to put them in a separate bowl and then I mix them before I pour them in the, the thing. Uh, this is how I learned in school. It's, I liked it. Um, and if you learn something and you, it works for you, take it and run. If it doesn't work for you, do whatever you were doing before. It's okay. I mean, nobody's going to be in your kitchen saying, no, you can do that. Uh, alrighty. So I'm going to add a little bit of the eggs. And then more powder. And it's at the first speed, which is at stir. Um, La bolsa? Si. On the back of the recipe, in the, in el, en la receta ya atrásito dice de una libra y de cinco libras. Mm -hmm. Usted para este paquete le, uh, sigue las instrucciones de una libra. Ya, yeah. okay. Y también en las bolsas grandes, si viene compra de cinco libras, lo puede, um, mm -hmm. ajá, en, y, y le sale más barato. Okay. So I'm mixing my batter, and I'm going to add the rest of the eggs. Try to get everything in there. Now we're trying to keep it into the Christmas theme, so we are going to tint it with a little bit of red and a little bit of green. And then once I see that all my eggs are incorporated, I'm going to add a little bit more water. And I believe that in the instructions it says to add the water the eggs and then the oil half of the water the eggs the oil and then the last part is water I personally like to add the oil last I don't know why I just do so I'm gonna do it the way I like it um, Rojas baked goods would like to join me oh I can't do that right now sorry I would do it if I was home. Oh, not this one. I want to use the other one. And before I add the oil, I'm going to scrape the bowl. Um, there's all, all, not always, but most of the time, you always get those dry lumps at the end. And I'm also going to um, scrape the spatula. We already. Can you guys see it or no? Okay. So if you see how you see how there's the dry stuff at the end. If I don't do this in this in the middle of mixing or my, my batter, um, you're gonna get an even batter mix, and then you'll get the chunks. All right. I do have the oven um, preheating at 350 degrees, um, so it should be fairly hot. And then I'm gonna, oh, the oil. I did go over the weight, so it's okay. Ugh. That's the one thing I hate. <laughs> Odio tener mantequilla y aceite en mis manos. And I'm, I wash my hands a lot. Ustedes lavan las manos bastante? Ay, ay, ay. So to have that, so, uh. <laughs> si. Oil or butter or shortening, any of that greasy stuff on my hands? Ugh. Also. Okay. So I'm supposed to let this mix for two, two minutes, okay? So I'm going to wash my hands. <laughs> Okay, now in the meantime, I'm going to get the pan ready. Now, uh, we have here these really cute bunk cake pans from Fat daddy -O, and I thought that they would be so adorable. And you know, I want to make a choco flan in these. Oh, yeah. 
You right? A personal. I'm gonna do it. So you might. We have two in the back. So yeah, they're so cute, and they're from Fat Daddyo. So what does that mean? It means that it's very durable. It's double um, iodized dipped. Um, the way the pan is, um, it, it's it's heavy duty, and it's um, it's really like what commercial people use for us. You know. Oh, sabes que no tengo idea. Creo que diez dólares. No es muy caro. All right. Now, because it is a bun cake, I am going to make sure I spray it good. Oh, ya fuera. No, it's because I'm trying to go home. I see you. Oh. It's going to come out right there. How much is it? Does it say? Okay. So I'm going to make sure I spray it because um, it's not like a regular cake where I can just put the parchment paper. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Terry's here. It, uh, you know, I could put the parchment paper and then it doesn't stick. This one I can't put, a, I can, but it's going to ruin the, um, the design of the bun cake. So I'm going to make sure I spray it. I'm just going to go over the trash can. You missed it. We featured your choco flan. Okay. Thank you. I was like, I think there is a 20% off this month, no? On Fat Daddy Pants? Okay, that's. Uh, all right, that has a lot. It's like foams up. All right, so now I have the pan ready and I'm going to divide the batter. See how pretty it is? Now, do you guys know, I know you know, so don't say. When I consider a batter to be done, a cake batter. No? Okay. It, it's shiny. By the color of the, of the batter, it's a shiny look. Ooh, it's loud. Me <laughs> espante. Um, it's shiny. If you don't mix it correctly, or like let's say you didn't scrape the sides, it's dull. So when it's done, when it's nice and pretty, the batter will be nice and shiny. Can you guys see it? There's no lamp, child. No, I'm just oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm about to come, come fu panda right here. Um, <laughs> So it, it has to be shiny and very nice and smooth, silky. Like, okay. Did you put the mic? I hear it. <laughs> no. No. It's speakers. I'm going, I'm going. I'm going, I'm going. Okay. So I'm going to put this in the sink because I'm done with that. And then I'm going to divide it in threes. So I'm going to keep the white one in the bowl. And then I want, I'm going to do red and green. Get rid of this thing. I have a weak wrist. It doesn't have to be perfect in the amount. I mean, if you want it to be perfect, um, what you would do is you weigh the entire batter, divide that by three, and then go from there. But honestly, <laughs> we're not going to weigh it going in, so it's not going to. We're not going to do that. Alrighty. And the, that's weird because if you know me, I weigh everything. Yes, you do. So let me get rid of, rid of that guy. Alrighty. Now I'm going to keep this on white, so I'm not going to mess with it. Hi. And then I'm going to tint these red and green. And I'm going to use gel colors. Ready? So just as dark as you want it. This is actually super red. Is Americolor the preferred for cake mix or is, does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And it also could be water-based, too. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter. You mean like the airbrush colors? Mm, uh, no, there's these food colors, like the cheapy food colors that you purchase. Oh, like the ones? No, those are gel-based. Oh, okay. 
but there's some liquid ones that you can use also. Um, but I personally like the gel colors more. No, poppy paint, you could only do one on dry, like not, not to bake. You could do it on fondant, you could do it on chocolate, um, ganache, anything, but you're not going to bake. Yeah, same thing. Like poppy paint or like Americolor? No, no, Americolor. Okay. That's a gel base. Okay. Poppy paint is, um, I think, alcohol base. I'm not sure. I would yeah, have to, I'd I have to call Alex and ask her. A red, I have to do a red cake and I use The batter? No, I had to do uh, the buttercream. Oh, okay. And I was very happy with the chef master. Well, when, for red, I'll, I'll tell you how to get red. I mean, you can mix it, but you probably added a lot of gel. Just no, I no? didn't have to use a lot at all. Okay. There's, um, I was very happy with it. And it didn't taste yucky. Oh, yeah, it doesn't. Ugh, I hate when that happens. That's um, lipstick taste. You can mix colors to get that red where you don't add a lot. And just like black, you do the same. Purple. Um, Alrighty, so that's fine. I'm good with that. I know, right? This one is leaf green. Right? Okay. So now I have six cavities. So I'm just going to do um, some white of the fur, some red, some whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay? Because when you cut into it, it's going to have the Christmas colors. Okay? So. So you're going to mix them all together? Yes. You will see. Okay, I need to get rid of these things. I have really bad wrists. You guys know I broke both of my hands when I was younger. I br this arm, I broke my wrist, my elbow, and my shoulder. I dislocated my shoulder. I, I'll blame my two kids for that one. Um, <laughs> trust me, it's their fault. Um, you know, I n when I was little, I got hit by a car, but I didn't break a bone. Um, I just like dislocated everything in, in my body, but I, n I never broke anything. Never had a cavity, nothing. I had kids, broken bones, cavities, <laughs> migraines, I'm blind. <laughs> I'm going deaf, I think. <laughs> then kids. I know my feet broke. Oh no. I got sinus problems. Huh? What happened? Uh, old age. Old age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hit 40 already. No, I'm 40. That's lie, girl, I'm 21. No. <laughs> yeah. Wow. One time. Didn't get any tasting, okay? No, none. Um, we were we were traveling, and my son was, I think, like three or four. I don't even remember. He was tiny, and the the immigration guy goes, "Who is she?" And then he's like. She says she's my sister, but she's really my mom. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> and I'm like, this is immigration. I want to stay in the country. <laughs> okay, so this one I'm doing red first. And since I have red in my hand, I'm going to put red on top of the white right here. Just. Como usted guste. Quiere más rojo? Échele más rojo. Like. <laughs> All right. So that, that. Ah, it's going to get dirty. And now green. So now I'll do, I'll put green in here, green in here, and then start this one with green. It's whatever you prefer. <laughs> and I'm only doing one pound. This is only a one pound uh, mix. If you do a big bunt cake, this is enough for one. The, the, the one, I think it's what, eight, eight, nine inch or something like that? Ten inch? I don't, the regular bunt cake. Not the small yeah the re the the medium size one. Yeah, that one would be one recipe exactly. 
All right. Now, I, I want to get at least these three. So I want to make sure that these three are filled. And you're going to add at least up until um, a quarter before it's a quarter fill. Does that make sense? So three quarters full. And I do want it to pass the cavity because that way I can level it easier um, versus when it just comes out like perfect. And it is messy. Can you tell? Oh, it's getting heavy. Did I not put red in this one? I didn't. No red. I did. I'll put red right now. I just want to make sure at least I get three out of this. And then I'm going to pop it in the oven at, well, it is a Fat Daddy pan, so I'm going to reduce the heat to 320, no, 340, I'm sorry, 10 degrees less, 340, and, um, and bake it like regular cake. So I'm going to put it in the oven for 20 minutes, and then I'm going to rotate my pan, and then continue baking for the remainder of the time, which would be another about 25 minutes or so. But these are small, so it might be less. And this is a really small oven. I don't want to put more on that one. It's gonna. I'm going crazy. Okay. I can. Only green and red? Um, I do like to wipe down the excess batter that overflows because then you get those burnt marks and. And then sometimes your oven starts smelling kind of funny. And believe it or not, it can make your product smell really good. It's like my, like chocolate. When you burn chocolate, the whole book, the whole thing is done. You know, if you burn like a little little section. Um, all right. So you you said only red and green. only red and green. Okay. Miss Terry wants only red and green. Very Christmassy. Doesn't have to be only Christmas. You could do these pink and blue and for Easter. Oh, yeah. Bye, Miss Kathy. Alrighty. So in the oven it goes 20 minutes, 340 degrees. Alrighty? And bye. bye. Now, let me just wipe down the table real fast because we're going to decorate the ones that I baked last night. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how to cheat with your frosting. I might use that again. Yeah, I'm going to try it. All right. So, you know, during the Christmas, we have a bunch of stuff that we're baking, cooking, and what have you. We don't want to spend our time making buttercream. But you want it to be um, drip able, I guess, able to drip on a cake. So we'll go to Walmart <laughs> or Baker's Bodega <laughs> and buy this. We are going to cheat. Can you make it less sweet? Maybe. <laughs> I know what you're going to do. 
Alrighty. Make sure you take this thing off correctly and everything. And microwave this. You don't want to microwave for more than two minutes because um, it's combustion, all right? So I'm gonna do one minute, but since it's on, I could see what's happening. I'm gonna melt it. Lo voy a derritir, no más de un minuto, un minuto y medio. It'll melt, um, where you can actually drizzle, drip, pipe, It's like oatmeal. Do you guys do oatmeal in the microwave? And it starts going up. It's like, I always do that. And I like it all the way up. So, okay, I see it melting. It's not right. It's on my 25, 20, 20 more seconds. Just make sure you take off all the metal because then you'll have a party in your microwave. Five. Alrighty. That's good. Can you see it? Wow. No. <laughs> Um, I need more of these plastic bowls. All right, so now I want to color this. Actually, I have some already done. And I did it before. And it does dry. See, it's the sekai, and it goes back to its big, to its shape, like, not. See. Okay. But I'll, I want to. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna mix them. Just le voy a dividir para hacer rojo y. But I wanna add on the white one. I wanna add some cream cheese icing. It's gonna make it a little bit sweeter, but it's gonna give it a different taste. Let me get the bowl. It's so handy to have extra bowls and paddles. Yeah. At home, I don't know what I would do. All right, so I'm gonna put this in here. This is the remaining. And when I'm mixing this, it's gonna um, change the temperature. So I'm gonna add cold to it because the air will be cold. And you would use a paddle, not a whisk? Yeah, yeah. I only use a whisk when I'm doing um, whipped cream, meringues, mm -hmm. and so on. This is the um, cream cheese icing. That's the flavor of the month right now. And this is, comes in the, it's sold in the refrigerator, so it's cold. So um, if we would do this, would you advise to have whatever you want to use out to get cold? Yeah, yes. I didn't think of doing this until like right before you guys came. I was like, I'm gonna try it. Oops. Have you guys ever seen um, nothing but bunt cakes? And how pretty their drizzles are? I tasted, the first time I tasted it was in Georgia. I was, I was like, ah, I wanna try it. It was so good. And I hate cake. I don't like cake because I make it so much. Um, but it was really good. And I, that's what I want to do. Like, well, it's not going to be like that, but I'm going to try it. All right, so I'm just adding a little bit of the cream cheese in here. And I'm going to get some piping bags, three. And the Fat Daddy O pans are 20% off this month. So that's a good. 
And I'm going to color these. I'm going to leave that one white. So just green. Sí, es bien bonito. Y si lo quieres ser más oscuro, le aumenta más. There we go. Now, if you let it sit, will this one get dark, darker? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not darker. But that's the... I honestly oh, think that this is easier to pipe. Huh? Is that the one you did earlier? Yeah. Oh. I did it like right before you guys came. The same color? Uh-huh. Oh, wow, it's just getting a lot darker. And then this one I'm going to do red. That one looks really silky. Already. I put too much red. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. So, no, actually, I didn't. Came out good. Hi, my friend. Alrighty. So, there we have that. And we have this. You guys want to taste this? Because where are my spoons? Right here. Okay, Terry might not like it, <coughs> but it is an option. <coughs> it's an option. To add flavor, I'm going to start choking. I'm <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. I was going to die. It's not that bad. What do you think? Actually, it's not bad. It's not bad, right? It's not bad. It is sweet, but not... See, this is the okay. flavor of the month, right? It's, it's icing, okay? You can apply this to the cake directly. Um, you can use it as a filling, or you can use it as a base, okay? I personally like it as a base. It's too sweet for me to be by itself. This is el, el um, how do you say cream cheese? I don't even know. Yeah. This is icing. Pero para mí se me hace muy dulce solito. Entonces lo puede usar como para cubrir un pastel o también lo puede uh, usar para el relleno o también como un base para aumentarle algo. So if you're making, huh? Lo, lo disuelvo con otra, con otra que también nos dice, ¿no? Con lo que usted guste. Um, buttercream, you can add it into your buttercream. Um, like you can do this. You don't have to melt down your buttercream in order to do this. I'm only doing this for this actual uh, um, ¿Lo quieren probar solo? No, you want to taste it? In my opinion, it's really sweet. Um, you know, I miss you guys. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. All right. Now, we also have these little boards that we sell, and they're in the way back of the store. <laughs> I agree, but okay. Um, they come in black, I'm sorry, black, uh, gold or silver. We do have black and white, that's why I thought. Um, they're very, you know, depending yeah. on the party. So, here's the bunk cakes that um, I baked last night. Now, to secure the cake to the board, I am going to put a little, that's batter. <laughs> um, you're going to put a little bit of the batter, I mean the, um, the frosting, just to secure it. Okay. Let's do gold. I mean silver. I don't have any more of the black and white. Alrighty. 
I should have showed you how it was without it. Okay, if I don't put it, it's going to move very easy. Okay, so now I'm just securing it and done. Okay, now I am going to move this guy. All right. I want to use the ones that I let sit for a little bit um, because they're a little thicker and they're going to be, um, they're going to hold their shape more than the, li the ones that I've just melted. These are very liquidy. So this one, I like it to um, the consistency where I'll be able to, sh you know, pipe it. And if it's too hard, just melt it a little bit more. Not a problem. Or I can mix it and put the melted one in here and then it'll be like a medium. Okay, leave that one. So let's do that so you guys can see the. I'll add a little. And I'm using disposable bags. Those little cookie thingies are very handy too. Which ones? These little, oh yeah, we sell them here too. I think I go through like 20 a week. And I'm too lazy to wash them. I just throw them. <laughs> my hands have aged so much. <laughs> Not me, just my hands. <laughs> From washing my hands, washing dishes, washing. So, uh, if, if I can throw it away, it's gonna go in the trash. <laughs> All right, so let's. <laughs> I'm gonna send the basket around. <laughs> All right, that's fine. And now let's put some white in a pipey bag. And then they have these little rubber bands. I know Wilton has them. I love them. I'm going to throw this away. It's in my way. I'm going to hit the camera. Are they rubber or are they plastic? The plastic. They're real. Little They're rubber. And then you just tie it and leach it onto the bag. You've never seen them? Never. I've seen them, but I've never seen them. They're good. Let me get a spatula. Mande? Oh, mija? No, se fue a Disneyland. She has friends that work there, so. Um, so se pierde todo. Yo también me iría a Disneyland. Peace. Yeah. I'm many. I'm sick. <laughs> Let Terry do the demo. No. <laughs> I'll be with you at Disneyland. <laughs> hey, we can get into the. I have a handicap. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm supposed to get it because I have a really bad. I'm broken, sorry. And I just, I'm too lazy to go to the doctor to get the paper signed. <laughs> and my husband's always like, can you go get it already? No, nope, you need to walk. I have to wear a back brace when I'm baking. Oh. Kitchen too long? After a while, it's like, you know, All right, so I did cut the um, tip of the bag, and I cut the tip over the trash can, so my tip, oh, look at it. Um, I, so I threw my tip away already, and then I'll just drizzle. I'll start from the center so you don't get that. Yeah. This is the cream cheese one. 
Okay, and I started in, oh, perfect. I'll start it in the center so you don't get the end on the. Um, I like the way you did it because the way that nothing but bunt does it just one line. Oh, I do like they? That. Really? Don't do the one line. And it was so line. good. <laughs> like they use that round tip. I can add green if I want. Um, I'm going to leave white on this one. Mm -hmm. And just sprinkle to add more Christmassy. Yeah. Yeah. And it needs more balls because a lot of green's coming out. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you guys have plans for Christmas? No. No? Yeah, you know, I didn't even put up a tree this year. I'm so bad. Um, all right, so we'll put that one out there. Let's do this one. Let's do it with the... En ese, lo puedo hacer menos. Como usted guste. Es su pastel. So I always start from the center. I feel the air. And then I'll do the red. I'll do that. And then that white is a little thick, like she said. So I'm going to add some more on a different one and cut the tip thinner. But on the other one, I'm going to do a different one. Ah. I had an interview yesterday for something, right? <laughs> just, just throwing it out there. And the guy was talking to me, and I was giving, like, doing my regular Pepsi, like whoop. And he's like, you do a lot of face expressions. I'm like, oh my God, yes. I didn't mean to. Cause like even sometimes when you don't want to say it, like you don't want to say like, oh, that's disgusting. Like my face will tell you it's disgusting. I'm like, yeah. It's so bad. So my kids, when they're in trouble, they can tell by my face. Like I'm gonna get you at home. I won't embarrass you in public, but I'm gonna get you at home. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Ah, go back. All right. I want to do other sprinkles. Oh, I like those. These have different colors. You don't have to put sprinkles. I just like them. I like the crunch. And in culinary school, you're supposed to combine like the soft with crunch. Like you're supposed to like meet them. So cake is soft, and then you add a crunch to it, and it gives it like a texture. Like that's just something you learn in school. You want some nuts? I have peanuts. You want some nuts? All right, so this one I'm going to do the thick, and then I'm going to drizzle with the thin colors on top. It looks like um, that guy from SpongeBob. What's his name? Patrick? <laughs> there. You want nuts? I got nuts. Do whatever you want. It's called baking. <laughs> oh, ya con esto ya nos ya nos ya es dieta. Okay. What do you want the last one to look like? Do you want? In my mouth. <laughs> I'll just do the thickness, because... Yeah. Yeah, like 
Ah. I'll add it. And then I'll just drizzle. How about that? Ah, uh, you got a lot of air. You want dieta? <laughs> For the diet. <laughs> and then like um, what you do with your choco flan, you put that flour in the middle. That would look really cute on these too. Okay, this, is, this is a lot of diet. Okay, so that's it. But the, the best is yet to come. There's more? Yeah, we get to taste it. <laughs> Yeah, can you, oh, yeah, Alan, can you take some pictures before I cut into them? These are the diet ones. <laughs> um, so next year, um, February, the first weekend of February is Cookie Con in Anaheim. Will you be there? Yeah. You'll be there? Oh, cool. I don't know if I'll be there. Um, I might be there. I'm supposed to be there. Well, they have your picture. They do? Remember? Oh, they do. But that's last year's. I know. My hair has grown so much, huh? They posted it like you going to be there. Okay, and then a uh, month right after that, March 16 and 17, is the San Diego Cake Show. I'm sorry, yeah, San Diego Cake Show in March. March. Um, March 16 and 17, it's at the Del Mar Fair, Fairgrounds. Um, I'm teaching there this year a, a fondant cake. Okay, so 20 minutes. They're not done. Do you know the, the rule of baking with the 20 minute rule? You do not want to open your oven before 20 minutes. The minute you have the since you close your oven, do not open your minutes for less than 20 minutes. All right? Um, you're going to shock your cake. You're going to cause a little sunken in your cake, and then you don't get the fluffiness. All right? And this lady's taking horrible pictures of me. <laughs> um, oh God, they're so big too. Um, and then. Once it's 20 minutes, you can check it and then add to your timer. You can, you can go 30 minutes, whatever. Just don't go below 20 minutes, right? That is anything. Well, unless it's like a 10 minute recipe, you know what I mean? But like cake. Oh, like cupcake. Right, okay? Um, now let's cut this guy. Yes. Let's cut this one since everybody wants la dieta. Or do you want the dieta? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what la dieta. Come here. All right. Let me wash this knife real fast. And these are really cool, especially like if you have like a, um, a, a small little party that everybody gets their own and things like that. Okay, can you guys see it? All right. Can you bend those down a little? Yeah, that one too. <coughs> I know, it's locked really tight. <coughs> ah, Maria! <laughs> Maria's my friend. Maria, she is amazing flower, sugar flower artist. Alrighty, ready? So we're going to, I'm just going to cut a piece out so that you guys can see the inside. That's the main thing. The colors, the difference in the colors, can you guys see it?
Do you guys want to taste it? Yes. Two, four, six. I thought you just wanted to take pictures of me and leave. <laughs> okay, so just to recap, we're done. Next week will be the last demo of the year. Um, January, I'm going, I already have my stuff planned. It's going to be super convenient for Valentine's Day, I guess. Um, and then the first weekend of February will be a cookie con. Don't, and you, if you're like into this stuff, you don't want to miss these cake shows because you're able to purchase things at discounted prices that you can't get them at the store, right? Like take a backpack, an empty backpack. Take an empty backpack inside your empty backpack. Um, and then you get to meet a lot of cake artists that you may not be able to see like in your everyday life. Um, so far I know Portia Kimball will be there. Do you guys know Portia? Um, Portia Kimball will be there. Um, I heard Linda will be there from Little Honey's Bake Shop. She's based out of San Diego. Duff will be there. Ron Israel. Um, who else? I can't remember anybody else, but yeah. And then the following month, March, will be the San Diego Cake Show, March. April is Miami. So if you guys want to go to Miami, go to Miami. <laughs> we won't be there, but I will. I will, but not the store. <laughs> um, so yeah, and take advantage of the discounts that we have right now, the 20% off the cake pans, the flavor of the month. Remember, it doesn't have to be an icing. It doesn't have to be a frosting. It could be a base like we did here, and it turned out really good, right? Um, what else? And then keep follow us on Instagram or Facebook. If you do anything that we've already done, send it to us, tag us, what have you. We will feature you like we did Terry. And also, that's where you're going to see all our news, all our announcements, the classes that we'll be offering. You know, sometimes we get a little ahead of ourselves and not able to put it on the calendar, but we will put them on social media for sure. Okay? And if you have any questions, please feel free to con contact us. And we are happy to receive anybody from Pico Rivera's clientele um, and keep you here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Contact us. And we are happy to receive anybody from Pico Rivera's clientele um, and keep you here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Contact us and we are happy to...